All hey. right, guys, welcome hey. back to hey. another one. Episode 83 over here. I'm back with Johnny Boy and Jay. Sheesh. Fucking Remy's over here on the ground being a piece of shit. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go get yourself some merch. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time that we drop something. Don't be a piece of shit now. All right? Don't be a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, thumbs so up. So we're back with another one, man. How y'all feeling today, boys? Fabulous. I'm doing fucking great, man. I'm fucking you great. You look amazing. Thank you, bro. Y'all I feel look fucking great. Hey, round of applause, yeah. man. Hold on. Let yeah, me get through it real out. quick. I've been, I've been kind of lifting. Yeah. You know. Yeah. This guy's been lifting. Look at that chest. You can just tell, bro. Yo, I you picked things up and I put them down. Ooh, and that's it. Whoa. And then he walks out. Yo, fuck you, Arnold. And then he walks out. Fuck you, Arnold. Yo, you don't got say. nothing on my dog, bro. He's nah. lifting. He's lifting <laughs> like fucking. A beautiful you. beard. A beautiful right? beard. A beautiful, luscious beard. You see it? It's amazing, bro. He was just talking. He how needs great. another round yeah, of applause. Yeah, you know one. what I just noticed? What did you notice? Fucking bro, don't use a brush. Use a fucking comb. My fucking barber this told guy. me about it. He's like, yo, bro, why you keep using that fucking brush? Just pushing your beard down. Facts. After thirty fucking years, nigga just finally learned. And you know, you know, he's a, a, he's a, comb for a he's brush. He's a slow learner. I mean, it would make more <laughs> sense, right? Because a brush is all those bristles flat on top of your beard, pushing it down, and that comb is kind of like little fingers. Yeah, it's little going fingers through. going like this, yeah. oh. caressing your fucking oh. cheek. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I like tongue in my pain with uh. this finger. One time, oh. one time. Singing out loud with this word. Not two times. Singing it softly with his arm, giving me something. Lauren Hill, oh, oh, oh my fucking shit. god, bro! Yeah. What the fuck are you doing over here? Yeah. I got yeah. fucking chills, bro. Yo, my, yo, wow. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. No, you're not. No, no you're, you're not. not. You it's got okay. a beautiful just voice. Just, nah, nah, just flex one yeah, time. Just flex. do it for the people. Ah. Oh my wow. goodness! What a, he's a man's man. He nah, was drumming man. my pain with his fingers. I don't fucking know. I was rubbing what? 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 <laughs> John, be, right before the podcast, I told him, "Hey, don't be throwing none of that shade over my way during the podcast." But oh, after right. the podcast, I'll give you whatever you want. <laughs> I told him that, and now he's over here throwing shade. What a fuck out of piece of hey, shit! Tell you so, what boys. a piece of shit! He's a fucking liar. I like him. Listen, nah, man, there's listen. a lot of skills and shit. There's uh, a lot of skills in life, guys, and there's a few of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, you know, go hand in hand. But which one do y'all think is better? Do y'all think listening is a better skill or <coughs> speaking a better skill? Yo, bro. I mean... <sighs> Fucking say it! I don't know. Listen, man, I, guys, <laughs> what do you he, think? he what do you froze think? over there. Yeah, I, I think know. I think they're both important, guys. I think mm -hmm. they're both important, okay. but I feel that listening is a little more important than being able to speak because if you don't listen, then what's being spoken doesn't fucking matter. Ooh, you know what I'm that was deep. That was deep. That was deep. So remember that. Take that with you. The reason free. That the was reason, free. The reason why it's like the next one is two ninety nine. <laughs> all right, you fucking drop that in the fucking. Patreon. Uh, Patreon that we, <laughs> yeah, we got, right? Yeah, $5 per pop. You feel me? Nah, but anyways, man. The reason why I said that, though, is kind of it's kind of crazy because I met this guy, right? This is the first time me meeting this guy. He's an old head. He's like 50 years old. It was the fucking picture I took on the fucking 20th story at the beach. Dude, my mom's like almost 50 years old. We saying an old head. Nah, but You're he's youthful, an old, mom. Nah, hey, Fuck hey shout out to y'all. Hey. Round of applause to y'all 50-year-olds hey, out there. Hey, hey, you're not, you're not, not old. Hey, you're not old. You know what I meant? Yeah, you know what I mean? Don't fucking make me look like an asshole, you piece no, of shit. No, he is an asshole. We can't make you look like what you are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am what I eat. Wait, what? Oh, uh -huh. wow. Cat's out of the bag now. Now the cat's really out of the bag. I said it last week. No, but anyways, bro, 20th story. We're chilling. I'm eating this guy, right? And I'm wow. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I said meeting. Meeting. Bro, no, it sounded like you said 20th story. I'm eating this guy. And I was like, I'm listening. I'm listening now. You got my attention. Yo, I said, I said meeting this guy for the first time. Like, Either way, me and her eating, it sounds suspect, right? <laughs> go ahead. Way, bro. Here we go. Continue, but now I'm really interested to know. Anyways, bro, and we're talking and shit. And he has some knowledge, man. And I just shut the fuck up. Deadass. Mm. I really did. I just shut the fuck up because it's like, I don't know more than you, bro. Yeah, what what you're the fuck do you got to teach him? Exactly. What do you have to He's teach him? he got life experience. Oh, wow. What was that? Was that your... Did you squeef? My dog just fucking straight up vibrated the whole that. goddamn table. That. 
The I table like fucking the, the cloth shook. I saw mm. it. What the fuck is going on? It's not nah, this that again. was Remy. Remy no, was no, right. it's just Remy. Remy's down there snoring, nah, guys. Being oh. a piece of shit. Yeah. But yeah, back to the yeah, story. Yeah, we're back to the story, bro. Yeah. So I'm out there on the fucking balcony and shit. Tell I'm me. chilling, man. I'm looking at this fucking view. It's fucking crazy, bro. He's meeting and eating this guy. I'm meeting, I'm eating, I'm fucking <laughs> And I'm fucking chilling. I'm smoking, bro. Me and Mike. Shout out, Mike, bro. Yeah, shout out to Mike, Yeah, man. so Mike, Mike is the guy that introduced me to this fucking guy, right? And he's just like, yeah, man. Middle of the fucking conversation, he's like, bro, you know what your fucking problem is? You're a piece of shit. And he's like, you just don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> He said that to you? No, not to me. To to, to Mike, the guy oh, that, damn. I, that introduced oh, me to him. Like, <laughs> and I'm sitting here like... <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah. And then Mike's like, what do you mean? He's like, man, you sometimes you just got to fucking listen, bro. Seriously. That's like, facts. That There's like, certain yeah. things that people tell you, bro, where it's like, I'm not asking for a fucking... I'm telling you something about life. Like, Bad. I'm not asking you for a rebuttal. Yeah, or like approval of like, yo, yeah, if I'm like, right or not or wrong. Like, bro, you can't tell me shit. Facts. <laughs> you know facts. what I mean? So he's trying to tell him that, and he's just nah, like, yeah, bro. He's you like, but sometimes <laughs> you just got to have to, like, you know, this is where, how I got here, man. You know, my mouth, man, you know? And it's just like, and he's just telling him. And I'm, I told him, I was like, bro, bro. There's he's a time right. and a he's place, right. though. There's he's a right. time and a place. He's right. Like, he's real. Up, like, you got to know when to shut the fuck up and learn something. Yeah. yeah. Because exactly. you can't, somebody that's trying to teach you something. You know what I'm saying? They're looking out for you, bro. What, yeah. You're trying to rebuttal by like, act like, oh, I know this and that. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah. like, bro, like, just shut and, up, man. Yeah, like, bro. I'm just trying to put you on the I told him I was a sponge. I told him. I'm like, I'm yeah. going to soak it all in, bro. Like, who am I to... Those are, you got to listen yeah. to people like that. You got to listen to people... You got to listen to people that are where you want to be, bro. Bro, exactly. if you're making a deal, you ever seen The Wolf on Wall Street? Um, the dude that I still Jordan haven't Belfort, seen that. I'm bro, tripping. You got to see that. But he talks about like how much you have to listen. You want to do a deal and you want to have a good deal. You got to listen to the other person. Because if you want to talk, you're never going to get to reaching a deal. They're going to feel like you're not, you know, you don't care because you're just talking, talking, talking. Like they don't matter. And you're going to run off a fucking could be a million dollar deal. Bro, you got to listen, listen twice and speak once. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And That's ask straight. the right questions. Right. Always yeah, pro, no, bro. Don't act like you know everything and act like you know what you're talking mm -hmm, about. Because mm -hmm. when somebody comes by and they really know what they're talking about, bro, yeah, they're gonna shut you the fuck up. Real Asking quick. the right questions is good, even like in sales. We've all done sales, right? They always tell you that like you don't just try to force them, like the old pen thing. Like sell me this pen. You don't just try to. You try to ask questions so you can fulfill the need. Call of Duty all the way to yeah, fucking yeah. 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 Bro, 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 you now. love Call of Duty bro. now, bro. bro. I love Call of Duty. Hey, guys, yeah, listen. I've been hoaxing yeah. Modern Warfare, the first yeah, one. Yeah, bro. I like Call of Duty, man. My yeah. favorite one was Modern Warfare 2. Facts. Yeah, bro. I just love fucking Facts. Call of Duty. Yeah, I like Call of Duty 4. It was cool. I like the M4DA3. It was fun. That was like... What I really started with, but the intervention with the uh, Modern Warfare Two. It I was be getting yeah. spanked now by like ten year olds though. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, yeah, facts. It's nah, different, it's... man. I'm almost thirty now, guys, so it's not the same as when I was nineteen. That vision's a little gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so and now I'm drunk and hot every night, crying, playing Call of Duty. It's hard to see through wrong? the tears. All right, it's hard to see through That's the tears. It's hard. It's hard, Ricky. Todd. No, nah, for real. But listen, guys, son, that's a little bit more of a fucking uh. Words of wisdom. Where's the wisdom to you guys? Wear a seatbelt, all right? Facts. Wear a seatbelt. Yeah. There was recently like a 19-year-old uh, college student. He was about to go to the league, bro. He was getting looked at by a couple NBA teams. Tragic news out of Los Angeles where Kentucky basketball player Terrence Clark died in a car crash on Thursday. According to the CBS station in Lexington, Clark was leaving a workout with Kentucky teammate Brandon Boston Jr. Two were driving separate cars with Boston driving behind Clark. It has been confirmed that Boston Jr. is okay. Clark reportedly died on the way to the hospital. He was only 19 years old. High school ranks. Terrence Clark was identified as a... Uh, potential pro as early as 15 years old. I mean, he was on the he was on the track to, to being an NBA player, and he had developed uh, strong relationships. And so, this is an outright tragedy, and he is gone, you know, 80 years too soon. So, our certainly our thoughts and prayers, all of our energy uh, to Clark's family. Terrence Clark was just 19 years old. Um, wow. That's fucking sad, man. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Yeah. Just because you don't oh, want to wear a fucking seatbelt, man. Like, it's not Yo, worth it's the crazy because a lot of cars, like my car, bro, will ding and it won't stop. Mm -hmm. I used to have a car that dung, but then after like they did, it, yeah, it stopped. Yeah. But my car now will not stop. I tried it, trust me. 
<laughs> well, I didn't try it. My cousin Amor did. Shout out to fucking Amor, man, for getting his fucking driver's license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Give the Amor a round of applause. We proud of you over here. Hey, bro, for real, man. Got your license. Now hey. you can get around to all the vagina that you always hey. visit around yeah. everywhere. Yeah. You know how it goes. You know how it goes a little bit. Did I say yo. something wrong? Nah, nah, he, nah, yeah, for real. You, <laughs> you might have just fucked some shit up for him. Hey, no, nah, he cool, he cool. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> nah, but, cool. but listen guys, good. if you're working a fast food job, right? And you're fucking going in there, you're getting burnt by the grease, the fucking nuggets, the fucking disrespected every morning, fucking every pissed. Day. Your manager smells like fucking ass because they've been there 17 hours and can't go home. And they're drunk. You're now. fucking pissed. Yeah. Like you just hate the job. And yeah. somebody comes in there and they fucking offer you twenty thousand dollars. What are you doing? Leaving immediately. Hey, bro, I might just take a burger with me. <laughs> I'm gonna make a whole meal. I'm a, and then I'm out. They're gonna be like, well, that's not on the screen, but like, don't worry about it. Don't no, worry it, about it. I'd be like, fire me. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna be like, listen. Um, Facts, bitch. I'm taking that money. I'm hopping out the fucking window. That's half your year. And I'm, and I'm, <laughs> I'm not even clocking said, out, bro. bro. Nah, I'm gonna stay on out the, the clock. Window. I'm gonna stay yeah, on the I clock. Ain't even clock yeah. out. <laughs> I'm gonna get paid two ways, bitch. Yo, you get the fuck out of here. Yo, where the fuck is John at? Oh, uh, shit. Fucking. So nah, fucking YouTuber just came in and offered them twenty dollars to fuck. I'm just, <laughs> twenty dollars. Be like, honestly, I quit for free. <laughs> I'll be like, can I be in the YouTube video? How many followers you got? You got twenty twenty thousand subscribers. You got I'm gone. Twenty. You got twenty. We out. I'm gone. I'm fucking out of here, That's bro. That's all I need to see. I'm taking a Dr Pepper to go. You said you got drugs. A Dr Pepper. A doctor. Not Fuck diet. Dr. Yo, you guys don't like Not Dr diet. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is my shit. No, I, I love Dr. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is that shit. I don't do any kind of root beer. I don't drink any. Yeah. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, That's not root, root beer. Root beer is really good. Root beer is root, nasty root as root beer. No. I feel like they kind of taste the same. No, 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 no. no, no. no. You got to taste Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is the shit. Root <laughs> beer is You've disgusting. You've never had Dr. Pepper. I tasted mug. I'm with you on root beer. I tasted root beer. Root beer Mug with the dog and shit? That shit tastes like fucking horse You ever had a float? A float? Like a vanilla float with root beer? Like vanilla ice cream with some. I've had it with Coca Cola, not root beer, because root beer tastes like ass. Now I'm interested in tasting it even Holy more. Just kidding. Bro, I just felt something. It was me and an eating. I just, hey. I just felt something. What? What'd you feel? I don't know. I just felt like, you ever feel like you see something and it's just Let not there? Let me get my hand back I don't know. Oh, like, my oh, dog's over here seeing ghosts. Now. You know what I mean? My like, dog's over here. My dog's over here. What does it smell like? What does it smell like? You know, it's it's smell like it smell like Casper's Yo, asshole. No, it sounded like my uncle. My uncle, Theo, the guy, when I was a small kid, bro, he fucking <laughs> took his fucking little fingers in his fucking belly button. He's like, it smells like Terry. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. I'll never forget that shit, that bro. That shit probably smell like fucking Yo, fungus. My uncle, my uncle was a piece of shit. <laughs> that's an infection. That smells like an infection. Nah, but I love, I love you, Theo, bro. You know what I mean? Nah, nah he showed me a lot. Theo, bro, yeah, for yeah. Nah, that's funny. But yo, bro, but like, like I felt something here, bro. Like it was weird. I don't my fucking dog, know. Long story short. John believes in ghosts. I believe in fucking ghosts, right. bro. Long story he believes short, in ghosts. he believes in ghosts, and he also believes in Santa Claus. <laughs> I believe in a lot of things, actually, even a two fairy. Oh wow! Yes, I believe uh, in that. You Absolutely. know what? I'll tell you something about the two fairy. You want to hear something? About he doesn't believe in ghosts. That's no. he doesn't believe in it. I don't believe in ghosts. I believe in evil spirits. Do you believe you in good spirits? I believe in uh, angels. Angels. See what I'm, I'm with saying? you. I'm but with you. Ghosts, I just feel like this, I'm not. This is not Patrick yeah, Swayze ghosts, and Demi This Moore. isn't Ghost yeah. Hunters when I was 13, <laughs> yeah, staying up at 3 in the morning. And then I couldn't sleep. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, yo. And then I hear my fucking cat run across the room. I'm like, yo, and these I'm niggas here. Yeah. Yeah. Talk if you're here. Talk if you're here. Steve, I know you're here. What's your name? What's your name? Did you hear that? And then they go back and record it. They're like, did you hear that? And then he they said, record it. What's your it's name? Steve. And fuck you, Steve. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my house. Steve. What's your name? John. John. <laughs> fuck you, John. <laughs> you piece of shit. Come get me. <laughs> if you're real, come fucking knock me out right now. And then all of a sudden some real shit happens, though. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. You know, in the Bible it says, "Don't tempt God. Don't, don't play with yeah, fire. Facts. Don't play with the, the dark side." That's why I've never <coughs> dabbled into the, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nah. nah, there's certain things. Ouija that, boards. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm not fucking like, around with anything that. with bad energy. Yeah, yeah facts, anything yeah. with bad energy that could be connected to, you know. My son asked me about it. Whether you call it bad energy, real? whether you call it demons, Damn. demonic spirits, whatever. Like I believe in it. Um, yeah, just like I believe in that. There's good out here. There's good. Like yeah. There's angels looking out for people. You know, and 
I don't know, man. Like, ultimately, like we said earlier, bro, we're going to start, you know, <laughs> we're going to start getting into the Bible. As we bit. grow, you guys As can we grow. grow, you guys are going to come with us. You Facts. know what I mean? And, and that's something that I'm interested that I'm yeah. looking forward to, man, because yeah. I feel like it gives you a better, it's going to give us a better understanding of ourselves and others and just life, <laughs> period. You know? Yeah, exactly. Facts. It's true. It's going to be bueno. very, very true. But yeah, I've never really had like weird experiences. So like I, I've never really been one of those type of people where it's just like, oh, yeah, there was one time, man, it was I saw somebody through a window and I just never had that. Ex- but I've, I've, I've heard felt, experiences. I never yeah, shit I've on had, people's I've experiences, had experiences but yeah. it's like Cause I don't know people. A lot of people is like nowadays a lot of people cap. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So it's like you don't know who's bullshit. It's all for a video now, bro. Yeah. Everybody does shit. Who's bullshit and who's not. But yeah. there are I do believe some people. I've heard stories where they're telling me and it's like you could just see it. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. they really believe what the fuck yeah. they're saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, but they probably did have an encounter with yeah. something. Because yeah. there is nah, some evil facts. shit. And facts. evil shit is evil. At the nah, end of the day, I truly 100% believe that if you... There's been, like, shit, I've seen... I haven't seen, like, something like that, but I've felt things around Everybody, me. Everybody, you know, you know that it's feeling, weird. that dark feeling, like, that feeling, like... I can't explain it, but being scared when you're completely by yourself in a weird, like, just feeling that cold-ass feeling of, like, fear. Yeah, I hate like that. Like, death or something is just lingering. In, yeah, the, in the cold water in the ocean where you yeah, go too no, deep. No, that. not even that. But oh. I'm just talking about, like, even well, just fuck. being in a house somewhere. Yeah, or even like, just going somewhere and about to do something, but just getting this, like, fucking bro, bad feeling. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy, Jay? Now that you say that story time, guys, for those of y'all that grew up around here, you know, uh, Casadega's nearby. Casadega, oh yeah. Casadega, bro. We went to Casadega thinking it was a game, bro. There's a there's a devil's chair out there. Yeah. I went out there with a couple friends. I was probably about Oof. 18, 19. I went out there with a couple friends. Pedro was there actually. Now that you yeah. know he's getting yeah. into church and shit. Pedro. Pedro was out there. Shout out to you. And I remember he was playing around, bro. And there was like a table that that had like a whole bunch of like names written on it, like old yeah. ass, like it was like some weird shit. And I just out of nowhere, bro, I got the worst gut feeling, like, like literally, like I had to go to use the bathroom, and I was like, bro, mm. something don't feel right, and he was just like, bro, stop, you know what I'm saying, mm. like whatever, stop being a bitch, and I was like, bro, nah, for real, something don't feel right. Mm. As soon as we said that, there was like fucking four four wheelers that came out of nowhere, and they were like, what the fuck are y'all doing over here? And I was just like, bro, let's go, like, mm. we gotta fucking go, Hell yeah, you know what I'm bro. saying? But yeah, like. It was just before they even showed up. It's just, just like weird that energy. Like it was feeling. like, bro, the this is we're by the devil's chair. This is what and this energy out here, bro. Like there's certain places that really yeah, cater to other energy. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And facts. as soon as you drive through there, bro, it's weird, bro. It's like yeah. like like you know what's going yeah. on around. Yeah, you want to hear even crazier story now, time. bro? Didn't you know the fact that you mentioned all this, and I just said the last episode shit tying into one another. All right, now facts. I'm gonna lay this on you right now. There's a place that was 15 minutes from where I lived that was called Casadega. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, bro. And I can prove it to you. You see what I'm saying? Where and you lived that up there? Where I lived that in, in upstate New York. And you just happen to mention a place near here that's Casadega. We yeah. have a place over there called Lilydale. It's right around the same area, but it's known for like having witches. Bro, that shit's and- literally 10 minutes from here, Jay. Yo, that's crazy, bro. I'm telling you. I've been telling Ivy that she can vouch for me. Things are happening. And that's why I'm just, yo, I'm getting on this journey. Because I see things happening and I'm feeling things and I've been reading the Bible. I'm telling you, things are going to change, man. Yeah, it's making me cry Facts. mouth. No. Oh, this guy. <laughs> this this guy. guy. Let me wet it up for Pray, you a little bit. All praise be to God. No, for real. This yeah, guy. This guy. <laughs> Yo, I fucked up my thumb, bro. You ever fucking slammed your finger like with a hammer? Like trying He's to gonna go cry about yeah, the bro, shit again. He's going to cry about his broken nail. This shit fucking hurts, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. Well, when you slump your fucking hammer... <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. When you thump your fucking mm-hmm. hand with your hammer, mm-hmm. yeah. either way it goes. Or thump your hammer. Yeah, just thump your hammer. You ever just held something in your hand and then you just want to just like? I uh, see. I'm not even gonna say it, but John has been saying some suspect shit that's been kind of making me want to get closer to him as a friend. I'm just saying. I don't know. You want him to be a boy? You want him to be a boy? I want him to shave, possibly. I wish I grew back here so he could shave. Damn, it. can y'all shut the fuck up laughing back there? Holy yeah. shit, it was like 30 seconds. Yo, you're fucking fire. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yo, there's signs. Read the signs. We'll laugh on our own. Kanye. Read the fuck. fucking signs when they laugh. You hear me? Do you know what I find fucking funny? Whoa. How some people come out of prison, right? And they feel like they're too good to 
go get a job at a fast food place or somewhere <laughs> that pays minimum wage. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, when oh, you yeah. were locked up, <laughs> you were working for no more than 10 cents a day. It's true. Yeah, facts. Anywhere from six to ten <laughs> cents a day, depending on the prison that you're at. Paying yeah. three dollars for a so you're suit. fucking telling me that you're too. You were getting paid seventy cents a week if you worked every <laughs> single day. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even buy a honey <laughs> bun, my nigga. But you're complaining about getting a fucking three hundred dollar check at the end of the week. Yeah, come on, bro. That's like you gotta start. You gotta priorities, start priorities, dog. Yeah. yeah, like bro, you come out. You got. You, you yeah, fresh yes, out of you, prison. You paid your debt to society, and I salute that. You know what I'm saying? Round of applause. For those of y'all that went to prison, yeah, rehabilitated dude. yourself. Came back. Rehabilitated yourself. Because niggas muscle. don't rehabilitate shit in there. Yep. So you took it upon yourself to make yourself better, come out, and you went through the process, and you're doing great. I salute Fact. every single one of you. Yep. But there's some of y'all that come out, and you feel like a little bit entitled for no reason, bro. Because it's <laughs> like, dog, like, you yes, you made a mistake. You paid your debt. But now you got to start from the bottom like everywhere else. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're Unfortunately. you were on time out for that amount of time. Mm-hmm. But everybody else had to go through it too. Unless you're just like the the son of a, somebody that owns a company or something. Yeah, like you got to work lucky. your way from the bottom. Yeah, yeah. puto. You fucking kikes. And but you shout know, out to you. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> some man. people get lucky and some people don't. You know what I mean? Some people get lucky, some people don't. And like, Bro, but that's your job as a parent. You can't get mad at somebody for their parents <laughs> haven't done what the fuck they were supposed yeah. to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. their parents did what they were supposed to do. And you as a parent, I'm pretty sure that's what you're striving for, for you to be able to take care of your kids that way and them not ever need or want for nothing. Yeah. And that doesn't stop when you're 18. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. you're a parent, you're a parent for life. Your kid could be 30. True. If they need help, nigga, you can help them. Yeah, yeah. one of my boys, you know he, spent, like, he spent five years in prison, bro. And he came out. He's doing really good. He's a nurse. He's a registered nurse that goes to the house, you know, and um, he does it what's overnight. His name? Uh, my buddy Tom. Tom. Shout out to yeah, you, yeah. Shout out to you yeah, Tom. Yeah, my buddy Tom, man. And he, Round uh, of applause to yeah. you, man. Yeah, he checks us out. He's, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. And uh, he was telling me about his son. And, man, I'm sorry to put your business out here, man, but. You know, it just and relates. Don't to put it. his fucking business yeah, out here. Let, it just, let's just stop the it, conversation. It just relates, man. But you know, he was telling me how he feels like a piece of shit because his son's doing fucking time in prison. But it's because of his mistakes that you know over the time, you know. Hey, but at least yeah. that he's man enough to own up to it. Yeah, you know, it's a cycle. Unfortunately, it's a cycle that a lot of us gotta break, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, sorry, guys. Yeah, bro. It's all. Mis- it's all just don't don't make the same mistakes <laughs> over and over again. Yeah. Nah, up? For real, no, man. the thing is, bro, you're supposed to learn and grow. That's what I tell my son. I tell my son, my 11 year old, I was like, my 14 year old, all of them, that if you do something, you got to own up to it. If you were in, a, in the car and your friends are like, we're going to go run up on somebody, we're going to go shoot them, bah! and you don't be like, yo, regardless of what they say, like, I'm getting out of this car right now, y'all are going to have to kill me here too because I'm not going to be involved. You know what I'm saying? If y'all decide to do that and you get arrested and your friend's gone, don't be trying to cry and throw everybody under the bus now because you made that big boy decision to get in that car and go out yeah, and fast. go run. If you got shot yeah. because they actually got run up to you first because your boys were fucked up, then don't come crying to me. Yeah, I'm going to help you in jail. I'll put some money in your commissary, but I can't be bailing you out because you got to learn now. If you don't ever want to go to jail again. There's consequences, bro. Yeah, yeah, don't do it again. Ultimately, bro, I don't feel that... I don't feel that... Uh, we should get rid of cops or prisons. Yeah. Because nah. in, I'm gonna open a in prison. society, yeah. hey, bro. No, let's get it. Hey, <laughs> that's that's right. <laughs> but not nah, for I don't I don't feel that they should be, you know, like abolished thing, or something. Bro. It's like, bro, like it's something that's neat. There are people that need to be locked up. We've been to jail. You know what I'm saying? There are people that need to be locked up. Yeah, I've been in jail before, guys. But are you in and out? Are you there right now? No, man. You go through (laughs) stages in life. I went to jail four times in one year, guys. One year out of my life, I went to jail four times. It was all for stupid shit. Two of the times that I went was actually for one thing because I got caught with a couple grams of weed. Didn't show up for court. They put a warrant out for my arrest. You know what I'm saying? It was just stupid shit. Negligence. Just dumb kid shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't got to go to court. Go to fucking court. The judge would have probably dismissed it with the amount of weed. (laughs) But now he's like, fuck you. You're going to do a program. Yeah. Like, you're you're young. When you fucking kid, you make a mistake. You know what my buddy told me, though? My buddy Tom, he was like, yo, bro, I did some things that I wouldn't, like, recommend if you ever did go to prison. (laughs) And he's like, bro, like, he's like, on my, like, Cause he spent five years, right? So like on his last couple of days, he was bragging like, "Yo, I'm gonna leave. I'm getting out." And there's nah, people in there bro. that have been spending the rest of their we'll fucking, fucking life stab in there. You in that motherfucker. And they, oh, they said they beat his ass. I would too. They beat his ass. Shut up. 
Yeah. Nobody needs to know your release Ex- date. Exactly. That's yeah. why they release at you out at night. Nobody Bro, needs to know this, your release date. A man date. of many words, and the Bible says yeah. he's a fool. Yeah. You know Facts. that person, that wise person, is 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 uh, quiet. You know why we were talking about wisdom? That's wisdom right there. Wisdom is knowing better. Like, look, yeah. I could brag and yes, I'm excited, but understanding like there's some men and having some respect for that. At the end of the day, regardless of what you think, oh, they don't deserve respect. At the end of the day, a human, every human deserves respect. Yeah, every, yeah. And the thing is, bro, people make mistakes. Yes. Some people's mistakes are worse than others. But at the end of the day, bro, none of us are God. None of us have yeah. the final judgment. None of us have the final word. You can have your feeling about whatever the fuck you have your feelings about. But yep. nobody has the final word. And we want to do guys. better. That's yeah, what we we're trying do to better. do, guys. So uh, uh, things are getting crazy out here. And I know it's you've becoming seen the crazy, podcast. bro. You got to believe in something, guys, or yeah. you fall for anything. That's a fucking fact. But Real listen, shit. guys, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing, coming back for another hey. one. It's been yours truly, low key. John over here, Jay over here. Sheesh. You know what I'm saying? Tell somebody you love them. Take care of yourself and take care of each other, man. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Let him hit him, Johnny. Hit him. Hit oh him. shit, real quick. Uh. Okay, hold on. Yo, uh, yeah. I got this girl. Huh. She yeah. calling on my line. Oh, I'm smoking line. all the time. Yeah. Baby, time. Don't get off my line. Ooh. I just wanna ride with my niggas. Get on the grind. What? Uh. Trying to flip a trip. I'm just trying to grind. I'm, uh. just, a, I'm just a rhyming. Y'all ain't I'm ready. Y'all ain't ready. Hey, listen, listen. Hey, hey, hey. That's, yo, too yo, that's too much. That's too much. Yo, now that's too much, bro. Hey, listen. My guy's gonna drop a mixtape. Y'all fucking go get it. All right. It's gonna be like nip, all right? A hundred dollars a mixtape. Late nights and so straight up. Why is my arm so white and my other one so dark? We don't know. (laughs) We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Peace. Peace.